Hello everyone, a while ago I decided to build a Nevermore Max air filter for my Boron 2.4 Doom Cube and I bought some active carbon for this project at the time. This was before the issue of using acid washed or acid activated active carbon was known, or at least it wasn't on the GitHub page and I didn't know about this. The result of using the wrong kind of active carbon is horrific. There are some pictures of this on the Nevermore Micro GitHub, not on the Nevermore Max GitHub for some reason, but uh, basically, the acid rusts the steel parts of the Voron very quickly and, well, uh, as you might guess, the results are really, really bad. I was planning on not using the ones I bought and buying the correct type after I moved because I can't find them where I live, but then someone noticed that I was printing a Nevermore Micro on, the, on my wor last Voron Zero episode, and after I said I wasn't going to test it until I moved, uh, someone left a great idea for testing the active carbon I have, but before we get to that, I want to talk about the active carbon I bought for the Nevermore Max at the time. So uh, at first I bought coconut based granules advertised as tap water filters, but after realizing they won't work with the Nevermore because you need pellets, not granules, I bought pellets advertised as aquarium filters. While they didn't mention what type they were, I'm pretty sure they were charcoal based because one of the pieces resembled a piece of tree which is not ideal but I thought they should still work and they should still be better than nothing at least until I can buy the correct type but then the rusting issue was discovered or that's when I learned about this. So moving on to the extremely scientific testing I did for this project. The first test was with the pellets. I decided to test a few black oxide and zinc coated screws, place them under the pellets in a plastic container and put a fan on top to simulate filter airflow. This setup isn't ideal for many reasons but it should give me some idea if they had acid or not and it worked. The black oxide M5 screw was visibly rusted and the rest of the screws felt more rough. Maybe just smaller patches of rust, I'm not 100% sure but at least based on that M5 screw alone, this obviously means the pellets had acid and they were unusable. I also decided to test the granules for fun even though I can't use them with the Nevermore. I used new screws for this test but I had to wait longer because I couldn't put the fan on the active carbon since the granules flow everywhere because obviously they weigh more, uh, much less. So instead of 10 minutes I waited 20 minutes and the results were the same rusty screws. So at this point it was obvious that I couldn't use the active carbon I have but for fun I also decided to do a more quote unquote real world test. So I put a bag over the exhaust of the Nevermore Micro, I think it's a V4 with more new screws in it, poked a few holes in that bag to give the air to, uh, path to flow so that it can actually escape and not go out of the cracks on the Nevermore Micro and ran this test with the pellets for 20 minutes. And actually, after this 20 minutes, nothing was visibly rusty, but I knew they should rust based on the previous test, so I decided to run this for another hour. And well, after that hour, the screws were rusty, but, but interestingly, the pattern was different. With both of the previous tests, the rust was patchy, only on certain parts of the screws, but this time, the entire screw was rusty. I had to take the picture next to a normal screw just to show the difference a bit clearer on the camera, otherwise it wasn't too obvious since the whole screw was rusty. I think the reason for this difference is because of the fact that with the previous test, the active carbon was touching parts of the screws and that probably accelerated the process on the parts that were making contact, but with the last test, the acid was only distributed with air, which means it was a homogeneous distribution of acid on the screws, which should lead to homogeneous rusting. So. I think that was interesting, but well, as I said, the result is the same, rusty screws. So it's obvious that I can't use the active carbon I have, so I will be buying the correct ones after I move, and these won't be used until I find a use for them. And well, that's it for this video. This was a bit of an unusual video, but I think it was an interesting experiment, and I felt it was worth sharing, so I hope you enjoyed it, or found it useful for your own testing, and well, that's it, so thanks for watching.